Okay, after I created my image on the computer, I took one of the boards, the 10 inch long, 7 and a quarter inch tall boards, and I first had to uh, prime it, and then once I primed it, I painted it with white. The white paint wasn't sticking to the board before I used primer, so the finished is a white board that I am now going to put in the machine. After you've painted your board and you've let it dry and you've made your image on the computer and saved it to a flash drive and showing me the simulation and everything. Uh, we will put it in the machine. Okay, when the machine's done engraving, you'll see that you have the white paint around the engraving, obviously the white being where it did not carve, and now we're going to stain. The white paint will block the stain from absorbing around the engraving and the stain should only soak into the engraved areas. Okay, shake up the stain real good. You want to make sure it's not separated. Generally you want to hold the cap down and make sure the cap was really tight. And then you get these tools and these little tools right here um, will pry up the edge of the can. So now you want to get a clean, dry brush. They're usually up by the sink. This one's got a little bit of water, so I'm going to take a paper towel. I'm going to squeeze out the water because we don't want to water down our stain. So now I'm going to take the stain brush and I got a, a paper towel handy and I'm going to try to brush it into the engraved areas and wipe it off the painted areas. I'm going to take a paper towel and wipe off the paint and I'm making a bigger mess at this point that I'm fixing, but I'm getting it off. So now I'm going to stain the letters. <laughs> and I hope I can get this stain off. I kind of made a mess right now. So if I, if I soak up some of this excess stain, that should really help my cleanup. Because I'm currently right now spreading stain in these holes around the project. Alright, so I got 